Hello and welcome to the F124 Track Guide and Hot Lap Series. This is a series where I show you guys how to go faster at each circuit, how to, how to tackle the corners at all of the 24 circuits on the F1 2024 game. Today's hot lap is around the 4.3 k's of the Interlagos circuit in Sao Paulo. Very technical circuit, it's a nice short circuit, but one that can very easily get you out on track limits in a couple of different spots. We'll go for a nice slow push lap where I can show you guys where to get them right and then the push lap will be at the end. Alrighty, Interlagos. Very short racetrack, bit, bit more technical than some may think, so breaking at the 50 meter board, Gently, gently turn into the corner. Don't take too much of the curve. So you basically want to have your car basically hitting the apex, basically. Open up, or stay to the inside as much as you can. And then you want to open up turn two and you want to take all the curb. Literally cheese the corner as much as you can. And around turn three, there's a couple of different lines you can take. If you're in qualify, you can just hold the line like this all the way around the corner and basically just drive along the white line here. If you go over the white line, you'll be fine. You won't get done for track limits. The other route is just follow the racing line uh, basically until you hit the sausage curb, which is on the exit. That'll be the preferred line when you're in race trim. Braking for turn four is actually right here, the 100 meter board. Now, when you look at it, it's not that far. Uh, but uh, it's actually not that much of a heavy braking zone, so just, so just keep that in mind. Turning in just after the 50 meter board, turn in gently to start, then, then you really want to get the car or the nose into the apex. Don't take too much curve on the inside because that unsettles the car. As well as turn one, don't overuse turn one. Use all the curbing. Uh, you really want to maximize track limits at turn four. Um, just hug the, hug the curb, don't take too much of that. Maybe stay away from the outside curb here at turn five, because um, yeah, you don't want to be using too much lap time. But of course, when you stay, when you try to stay away from that, if you're too far away, you're actually hurting the right side tires. So the right side does take a bit of a beating in the first sort of half of the lap. At the 50 meter board, go past the 50 meter board, and what you can do, you can either just lift off uh, when you hit the apex here at turn six, after the double right hander. And then ease, ease down to down to sixth gear if you're in seventh. Uh, seventh gear down is to sixth or eighth. Sixth gear is is recommended. Now this is very t this is actually pretty difficult to get right. So what you want to do, get the car as far to the outside line, and you see that bit of grass up ahead. What you want to do is gently start turning in, so the whole side of the car is basically almost touching the grass. So gently, gently, gently turn into the corner. And what you wanna do, because you wanna open up at the next corner. So take all the curving on the inside here. Now what you wanna do for turn eight, I think this is, is open up the corner as much as you can and then basically hug the inside wall. It's about a 30 corner. You can early shift up to fourth, about three quarters away through the corner, or two thirds. Up into fifth or sixth gear, and where you see that pavement, before you get to that, that's your braking, that's your braking marker, because there's no um, braking boards, there's no 50, 100, 150 meter braking boards until you get back to turn one. So that's a good braking board. Stay as far to the outside of the track. You don't need to be at 100% throttle. This is not a very heavy braking zone. So, Go 100% throttle for a, a split second and then just ease right off the throttle. You want to keep a fair amount of brake, brake pressure on. Um, so basically ease it into the corner, hit your apex. And then what you want to do, try to stay away from that outside curb and away from the grass. Open up, uh, I think this is turn 10. Uh, you don't want to be touching that, that curb. It's actually quite difficult to get right because the car may want to try and get away from you. Um, but, but if you do that, uh, if, you, if you stay away from that curve, if you just hug it, that's perfect. Now this is, very, this is actually a very difficult one. So what you want to do when you hit that curb, well get the car over to the curb and then maybe about half a second um, after you get past uh, the curb on the outside, you want to you brake 
um, as late as you can. This is not an easy braking zone to get right because there's no foam boards, as I said uh, 30 seconds ago. So what you want to do, about a fair gear corner. Don't take a lot of curb on the on the inside. You just want to kiss that apex. But what you, what you can do is use all of the outside curb. Where I am right now, that is absolutely where your car you want to be. That that's exactly where you, you want the car to be. You'll absolutely be fine for track limits because if you touch the grass, you're over the white line. So if you park the car there at the exits of the apex, you will be absolutely fine. It's about a figure corner. You can short shift up to second, but that may hurt your, your exit. Um, so just be wary of that. Depending on if you're in quali or race trim, hit your apex. Um, uh, at that little kink there. Stay towards the inside a little bit um, for the run up to the line, over the pit entry line. If you're in quali, hug the inside all the way up to the line. If you're in race trim, just take the normal racing line to start your next lap. And that is a lap of the Interlagos racetrack. So it looks pretty simple, but it's, the middle part of the lap is actually quite technical. So. And, and it's not easy to get right with no foam boards. So that's that's your track guide. Here is the fast lap now. And that was a hot lap of the Interlagos circuit. If that really helped you guys wanting to get faster at this circuit, then stick around for more track guide and hot lap series videos coming up in the very near future, or at least I hope. So anyway, um, stick around for more F124 videos to come very, very soon. That's only going to be around the corner. But until then, until the next video guys, enjoy your racing weekend, and I'll see you in the next video.